Okay, I had a question. Sure. How do guys get out of the friend zone? Like what, is there actually a roadmap or is it just a dead end that we get to? I think once you're in the friend zone as a guy, a girl's already made up their mind. What if the guy specifically knows that two people have the chemistry, it can be something magical. And maybe he does want to present to her a wonderful scenario of them being in love. How would they get out of that friend zone? Are you asking for any particular reason? This no, this seems so, so familiar. It seems very targeted and specific. <laughs> what? What's up, guys? Welcome to episode 188 of the Dropouts Podcast. This week, we have Jared here. Jared, it's so Hi. nice to have Okay, that's enough. And we got Tara. Tara, say hey, everybody. Hey, everybody. Yeah, show them the goods. Woo! Woo! <laughs> and Alyssa. Uh, there was a moment I was afraid you were actually going to do that. <laughs> really? It's Alyssa's you turn, guys. Just Alyssa, fine. I'm showing your real. Let's get <laughs> out there. No, I. Th we were going to let you have your moment. I was just afraid she was actually going to pull out the titties. I was not yeah. No, it was anything. authentic. I loved it. Speaking of Dude. authentic, how's your Botox going? It's really good. I can move my eyebrows now. Thank goodness. Do it. Oh, yeah, you can. Wow. wow. It just takes a while. Okay, imagine you see something suspicious, but it's from afar. <laughs> wow, I would look at her and say that's something suspicious from afar, would you? Now you look and see if you see something suspicious from afar. Oh, for our audio listeners, Alyssa put drugs into her face to make him not move it's not or drugs. something. Or ice, I don't know what it is. It, <laughs> ice. Frozen. ice. She froze her face with chemicals. Yeah. Okay, and then see something from afar. Now gasp. You, wait, you moved your eyebrows less than she did. Okay, there we go. For our audio listeners, oh, hit the intro thing. I feel a good one brewing today, huh? Wait, I, I genuinely, how was your day today? It was good. Oh, yo, guess what, guys? We got a Patreon, huh? <laughs> Every single time. Did you guys know that? And guess what? And we're, doing a, <laughs> we're doing a giveaway on January 31st where you could either win an Xbox, a uh, Nintendo Switch, AirPods, merch, gift cards. All you got to do is sign up for right now. It's a free trial. And right now, it's Tuesday when this comes out, it's the 30th. So you have one more day to sign up. So you get in there and you DM us which one you want and why you want it. Maybe you're going to give it to a little brother. Maybe you're going to keep it for yourself because you're greedy. Good. <laughs> Good. That's what we want. We love greedy people. Um, free trial right now. We're also doing a drunk episode this month. And we're getting dangerously close to where I have to get blackout drunk on camera. So we you don't want to that. Um, here's a little drunk out. Here's a little drunk clip. So you know what you're getting yourself into. <laughs> I'm also part Jewish. Shut up! <laughs> Smallest to biggest erect. What was the biggest? Eight, Eight inches. inches. Uh, 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 I've taken like 14. <laughs> <laughs> You think, you think that's, that's eight, eight inches? inches? Wait, no. They're gonna be you pretty disappointed if I ever get pants at a local pool. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's eight that's inches. That's eight inches. Imagine taking that. You're feeling that shit in your guts. <laughs> when are you gonna start your OnlyFans? <laughs> You look like a psychopath. You're crying wearing <laughs> medieval times. You have one shoe off and you're drinking. Any last words, Danielle? <laughs> uh, but yeah, you get episodes early. You get a ton of 20 to 30 minutes of extra com uh, content after this. You get to watch us play a game after this podcast, but you don't get to see it regularly because we can't put it on YouTube because it gets real dicey. Anyway, go be part of the Patreon. And if you're not, again, I will take your mother and I will put her in the ground while she's still breathing. Let's get into it. Okay, I had a question. Sure. And I need a genuine response. Don't be like, it's really tough. Like, I want you to rack your brain here. How do guys get out of the friend zone? Like, what, is there actually a roadmap or is it just a dead end that we get to? I think, I think once you're in the friend zone. Oh, I was so excited for you. Cause you were like, I think I was like, first time. <laughs> it was really cool. You're such an asshole. It was really cool for all of us to see. Yeah, I saw those. She's like, whoa, whoa, whoa I can use this. I thought I was just. <laughs> um, <laughs> Jesus Christ, dude! Can you please stop talking to me, bro. Zach got back from New York and he's fucking off one. <laughs> he's he's like gathered these like four or five days to just get every freaking insult about me and just let it loose on I'm the just podcast. Blue ball it is what it is. <laughs> okay, now explain to me your thought process. I think. Hot. <laughs> <laughs> Quite often, actually. I no, think. but it's not a lie. Let's keep going. I think once you're in the friend zone as a guy, a girl's already made up their mind, right? Unless they're faking a friend zone. Unless they're just saying like, what, what, what? Why are you looking at my hand? What's wrong with it? 
you were expressing the story with your hand. I know, but you're specifically so wanted, looking at my right hand. I wanted to be respectful. That's the one that's usually got my snake in a chokehold. Um, oh, my God. Joking, everybody, huh? Asphyxiation, A-S-P-H-Y-X-I-A-T-E. Most First people all, can't spell that. I'm left-handed. Well, you spelled asphy- asphyxiate. 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 Yep. Damn it. I fucking flopped <laughs> on the word. <laughs> you can't make fun of somebody if you're messing up the word. Yep. Okay. Now, run us back. So you, sometimes you guys fake the friend zone. Is that a tactic? Do you fake the friend zone because you could see yourself dating them in the future, but you're just like not, not here? Yeah. I don't know. I think it depends on the girl, right? So it's like some people do that. I know that. I would. I, would, I don't do that. But I know some people do that. I know some people fake a friend zone or they like put someone in the friend zone because they're afraid maybe the other person doesn't have feelings for them. You know what I mean? Okay. As like a, like a fear thing. But what if the other person explicitly Expresses states? It? Yeah. What if you, what if the guy specifically knows that two people have the chemistry of, I would say a well-baked cookie, you know, like it's so beautiful and to not let the world experience this beautiful cookie together. They like to be separate ingredients. What flour and sugar by themselves, nobody wants too much of that, but when Gross. you bring them together with a little bit of chocolate chips, those are black guys. Um, <laughs> guys, don't be racist for two seconds, all right? I'm just trying to be inclusive to everybody. Yep. All right? Um, when you bring inclusion together like that into a beautiful cookie and you give it to the world, it can be something magical. And maybe maybe the guy in this situation is the chef and, and, and the woman doesn't understand that that pastry could be something beautiful, but he has to... I, I convince her sounds a little dark, but he does want to re- present to her... Uh, a wonderful scenario of them being in love. How would they get out of that friend zone? Over to you. Are you asking for any particular reason? This no, sounds this seems so, so familiar. It seems very targeted and specific. This okay, sounds- I'll, let me ask Jared then. How do you get out? You don't know. That's why I'm not asking you. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Yep. <yeah. laughs> I, I think this podcast is giving me knee problems. Oh, because of the couch. I told you that couch was a I bad said fucking idea. I need something in front of me. Like a squatty potty. Like Skylar on his hands and knees. Skylar! I can get you a little step stool. Just something, dude. My knees are like killing me. That's oh, disgusting. Oh, this is fantastic. I don't need your, it's probably so much fecal matter on it. No, it doesn't. I, this thing's been cleaned. This thing's been cleaned. That doesn't even do anything. It does. Oh, is that nice? <laughs> <laughs> is this how you guys feel all the time? Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is great, dude. Just don't defecate on the uh, bench, please. It's new. Yeah, you just gave Miss Poopy a squatty potty. She's yeah, gonna it's on fucking... brand. Guys, this is going to get clipped. What? <laughs> just the fact what, that I, my, the... My, my legs don't reach the ground, so I have to freaking put them on a squatty potty because you guys can't invest in a freaking thing for me. Well, well, we did. We literally got you exactly. This Is, is this, this is not this, perfect? No, this is a squatty potty from your bathroom. Does it, it feel nice? Has all these Zach feces on it. Maybe. And I think that's endearing. If it had Elvis feces on it, would you be okay with it? Yeah. Exactly. I'm a lot of people say Elvis is a national treasure. No, Nicholas Cage is. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so watch your mouth. Um, if th- anything, I think it'll bring you guys closer. Yeah. Just look at okay. Ooh, the new salt burn. The squatty potty lick. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, yeah. Everybody's doing it. Okay, back to you. Can you explain the thought process? And we 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 want a definitive roadmap on how to get out of there. It just depends on the person and the situation. So like if a guy <laughs> is like in the friend zone. I feel like if I was in the friend zone, I'm just putting myself in a guy's position. If I was in the friend zone and a guy clearly put me in the friend zone, I wouldn't try anymore because it's humiliating. Well, okay then. <laughs> humiliating. Humiliating. Yeah, it's like if someone specifically says, like, exclaims that- Exclaims. Okay. Shows that they put you in a friend zone, right? Yeah. Maybe stop trying. Shot heard around the world. <laughs> 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 Kidding. Obviously, I put you in the friend zone. Let's all be honest with ourselves here. Now, uh, Jared, have yeah. you been in the? I have personally been in the friend zone all new, my life. All my life. Yep. Initially, I think I'm 100 when it comes to my shooting percentage of getting out of it. Really? really? Yeah. A hundred percent. And I'm, how do you do that? Exactly. I I think it's it's being around the person, but not putting pressure on it. And as they go through the woes and whimsies of debauchery with other males, you start to shine through. Oh, so you become like the knight in shining armor at the end of it. But you, I think you always keep your intention. Like you don't hide your intentions. It's just like, Hey, I just want to let you know, I'm going to be here for you. I'm not going to act on any of this, but I, um, I do have attraction towards you and it is what it is. So like you keep reiterating that? I don't have to keep it. No, I just, yeah, but I also let it. keeps reiterating it. (laughs) I just let her know that, um, I'm here for, you know? 
Do you think it comes to a point where it gets a little <laughs> redundant, disrespectful to the girl because yeah, well, she's at gunpoint. She, well, <laughs> let me finish. If she's oh yeah, either seeing oh. other <laughs> sorry. If she's either seeing other people or she says no, don't you think it's a little oh, no, disrespectful I'm not, to her? No, 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 no. I'm not pursuing her if she's with other people. It's more that it's it's not even that like I I still like you. I think she she knows I still like her. Like I never. I don't know if this makes sense. I'm not trying to get her if she's with someone, but if she isn't with someone, it's it's more just- Can you guys have this conversation about me when I'm not here? Where, this isn't about you. You're literally on a squatty potty right now. You could be less attractive, okay? And stop snorting stuff. <laughs> I think I just had a booger fly out of my nose. No, it's the cocaine you keep ripping before these podcasts. Stop, don't say that. Okay, crack. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever it is. I'm checking to see if I'm a booger. We were all like, what could she be doing? Okay, yes. Alyssa, I, I do hear you in the fact that this could be a disrespectful thing, but I do have a way, and maybe this isn't formulaic in a sense, but I do have a way of keeping that respect. And then in the long run, um, I've always gotten a, thank you, I really appreciate you, you know, sticking by me here, because this is, you're the best thing that's ever happened to me. So I don't know, something to think about, <laughs> you know? While Zach was gone in New York, me and Jared hung out one-on-one. <laughs> What'd you guys do? We went we to- We had a little coffee date. We did. That's so We got fun. coffee. We watched yeah. turtles swim. He came over. Cool. We, we ate some snacks. Sounds awful. <laughs> really? What do you mean it sounds awful? It was a lovely it was time. So oh, it fun. sounds really cool. I think Zach's jealous. I think a <laughs> no, little bit. dude, I had such a good time in New York. I was bipping and bopping. I was Is that what people. you called and texted me all the time? No, I actually, you- I have receipts of you absolutely ripping through my phone. Zach, when are you going to come home? I can't, <laughs> I can't do this anymore. Oh, you want to know something specific? Fucking exposed, dude. You want to know something specifically that she said? What? She, she said, um, hanging out with Jared today, it makes me miss you. <laughs> I did say that. So, so, yeah. Cool, Tara. <laughs> no, I just meant like, because of your energy. You know, it did make me, it made me miss Zach a little more. Not in like a backhanded way. Yeah, no, no, I totally <laughs> Totally get it. Thought we just had something special there. You didn't think I had that card in my Uno deck, did you? Reverse that thing right on you. We did. Have yeah, a great no, time. yeah, we had a yeah, great time. But it would have been better if Zach was there. Agreed. <laughs> don't knock no, your no. head. No, no, I was going to say, I feel, I will say something about Jared that you don't have is he feeds into my delusions and I love it. I love feeding into delusions. It's I love so it. Much fun. I, I tell him something and he's like, oh my God, that's so romantic. Keep going. Like, tell me what else, what else happened? Can I tell you why? He's what? a manipulative coochie cavalier. <laughs> what? And he's trying to be what? on the front You're lines. You're the one that just said that you stick by women so that you can be the knight in shining armor. I didn't think you'd bring that up so soon. <laughs> okay. And second off, I think I, didn't I explained think you'd it throw wrong. me under the bus so fast. I, I didn't. Love I, I the threw. I, potty. I, yeah, I think I threw her under the bus so fast. How you said I'm an emotionally or what manipulative coo coochie, coochie catcher, catcher or something? No. Would you call coochie me? Cavalier? No, that guy's on a list. Coochie Cavalier gets it done. <laughs> yeah. And that was a compliment. Okay. I guess, but now it sounds like you're twisting it and manipulating what you said back on me. I don't get why I would feel. I get why it would feel that way, but it's not. <laughs> Oh, wow. Um, speaking of coochie, um, <laughs> Jared, you want to update us on your date? Wait, can you explain? So Jared had a date. Um, you explained how it went very well. The first date. The first date. If you didn't watch it, it's another podcast. Guess what? We do this every week, so you can go listen to it. <laughs> and he, you had another date. I did have another. Okay. But, but there's, but there's. There's things that happen. <laughs> Date number two. But no one expected. The most affordable way to ship things online for your personal company is with ShipStation. If you're shipping stuff and not using ShipStation, you're losing money. I can't stress that enough. The new year is a great time to focus and grow your business. But if you're worried about all of the daily monotonous tasks, you're not able to do that. But with ShipStation's all-in-one dashboard, you're able to easily focus on what really matters, increasing sales. My favorite part is the effortless integration if you sell online, including Amazon, Etsy, eBay, Shopify, and, and many, many more. It's so easy to add it to the sites where human beings are so they can see your products. If you need to ship stuff, you use ShipStation. It's very simple. Ship stuff, ShipStation. You get it? And over 130,000 companies have trusted ShipStation with their business. And 98% of those companies became customers for life. Make this year the most profitable one yet by using ShipStation. Use promo code DROPOUTS today at ShipStation.com to sign up for your free 30-day trial. That is ShipStation promo code 
Dropout, ShipStation.com, promo code DROPOUT. Thank you, ShipStation. Get your belly ready, because it's about to be filling up in the best way possible. Okay, whether your resolution is to save money, eat better, or stress less, HelloFresh is here to help. All you have to do is say hello to your most delicious year yet with fresh ingredients and chef-crafted recipes at a price you'll like delivered right to your door. My favorite thing about HelloFresh is they send you all the ingredients, all the instructions, and you become a better cook and it tastes good. And so you got a little date coming over and you want to pop them something that's not in the microwave, get them up to here. And you start cooking, you start using your little seasonings, and then they're like, oh my gosh, you're such a good cook. I want to be with you forever. Let's get married. Oh my gosh. You know what I mean? How nice would that be? And then maybe they'll kiss you, which is great. And on top of that, it's the time of year where everybody wants to revamp their eating habits and their diet. And HelloFresh has you covered with their calorie smart and protein smart healthy choice options. You cooked HelloFresh all week. What was your favorite meal? Okay, I got to go with the crispy buffalo spiced chicken. Like, do you see the picture that I'm showing you right now? It's fantastic. It is crispy chicken with buffalo sauce, mashed potatoes, and roasted carrots. I mean, could that sound any more you did, delicious? You did say that the food was almost... Magical? Break dancing on your tongue. Heavenly, some oh, might say. Some might say it. It was fantastic, and I cooked it all myself. I never would have made this meal if oh, I was just left you, to my own devices. You burn cereal. Exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And this, it comes with step-by-step -step instructions, so there's no way to mess it up. It's almost step-by-step -step instructions to impress your significant other, too. And listen, impress... It did. Go to HelloFresh.com slash dropouts free and use code dropouts free for free breakfast for life. Insane. Why would you not use it just for that? One breakfast item per box while subscription is active. That's free breakfast for life at HelloFresh.com slash dropouts free with code dropouts free. Sick. Go get yourself some breakfast free for life. Thank you, HelloFresh. So explain setting up the date to the date. Take it from here. Okay, I'm not going to do this with every date because I do need to learn to have some semblance of a private life. We talked about this. Yeah, we did. Yeah. We, while you were gone, we talked about how we air out all of our information and people can just click on it and watch us fucking talk about things. Clearly someone's messaged me. <laughs> but you know what's pretty cool is you also get paid for it and other people work like blue collar jobs and they're breaking their back all day, like doing post holes and digging fences and things like that. And then you get to talk about just what you did today and then you get to make a phenomenally amount of money, but you know, whatever it is, Jared. So anyway, the second thing. <laughs> Um, so yeah, had a second date planned out. Uh, I had this plan to go see some stand up, you know, and I, I asked the girl, I was like, do you like stand up? She's like, I love it. I haven't been in several months. Sounds like a really fun date. I was It'd like, be a red flag if she didn't. It's like, you oh yeah, I know. There's people it. who don't though. There are yeah, people that don't, the, and I don't, flags. yeah, I don't want to date those people because I love stand up. Yeah. So, so yeah, I was like the show's at eight. I'll pick you up at like seven 15. We'll have a good night show up to her place, 7.15. I'm like, hey, I'm outside, whatever. About 10 minutes goes by, nothing. I'm like, if you if you can't find me, I'm to the right of the door. Uh, ah. <laughs> but you knew, I think even you knew in the back of your head that she wasn't going to respond to you at this point. Okay, well, not- At not, what point did you start panic texting me? Texting me? Uh, that was about, okay, not to rush the story, but that was at about 30 minutes. <laughs> okay, oh okay, let's go on the timeline. We're okay, at 10 timeline. minutes. So 10 minutes, right? And at this point, I wasn't really fretting. I mean, I was like kind of fretting on time, right? Because we were still cut, kind of cutting it close. But um, for the first date, she w still needed like five minutes to get ready, right? So I was like, okay, maybe she's just rushing to put the last things together. Because um, you said um, you said she looks like, what was it? It was like a uh, recently deceased dog when she does that makeup on. I it was something, no, it was did something, not say it's that. It's more poetic okay. though, like no, you've been ran over or no, something. No, I'm not going to go along with this bit. You've been hit by a semi no, and it's like a little no, tough to like you gag no, when you look no, at it. No, no, <laughs> no. Okay, I did not say any of that. Yeah. So anyway, 15 minutes goes by, 20 minutes goes by, 30 minutes, I start panic texting people where I'm like, yeah, she's not Me responding. Included. Oh, I, I, I tried to call at 30 minutes and then no, no answer you have on no, the call. But you're outside of her apartment. Or do you have, are you worried about her well-being? Are you more worried you got stood up? Where are you at in your head? I'm juggling both in my head of at course. that point, right? Because like a silly little Do you want clown. me to read her text out loud? No. Okay. Um, Why? Yeah, read them out loud. No, hold on. I don't. I forget what I Just said talk, exactly. I'll, I'll look. I'll you look. edit this, brother. 
<laughs> I know, but I don't want to do extra work on top of the work I already well, have to I'll do. I'll take a peek, see. Remember the whole blue collar job situation? Yeah, yeah okay. it'll be okay. Yeah, I know. It'll We're going to try to make the best podcast ever. Yeah, so. yeah. Um, so at 30 minutes, I try to call, no answer. And then I am juggling the, the options of like, is she okay? Correct. Am I being stood up? Gotcha. Um, but with her like well being, I don't know what apartment she lives in. So I even if I could get into the building, I wouldn't even know where to go. But you would be able to break the door down if she was in distress with those big shoulders you've been working out. Of, and she would see you in her last dying breath and go, Man, I wish I would have really had that guy physically. And that which is sick. Okay. She'd be dead, you're gonna have the love of your life. But man, it's nice for a woman to think about you in a nice way, huh? Great. Yeah. Yeah. That's a really dark image to think of. I'll so, say one text. Okay. My favorite one is how long do I wait? I don't think I've been stood up like this. <laughs> and I said, Hey, I have no idea. This is insane. Any updates? Sorry. I was paying the bill for dinner. And then he didn't respond like for like an hour and a half. And I said, update. Uh, that's because I then hopped on the phone with Zach after that. Mm, I'm Zach. Um, yeah. So, um, so you're out there for like 40 minutes. Yeah. It, it does. It's a little perplexing to me that you hadn't driven away. Well, like what if she, what if she was sending you up and then she's like, okay, finally you got the hint. And then she goes out to take the trash and she's like, Okay, I didn't think about that. I was just um why are you Oh my gosh, that tonight. <laughs> <laughs> I was just I was just kind of wallowing in sadness at that point because I really thought that I had been stood up and it was very You, you just said you love stand up. <laughs> <laughs> so I don't know why you're fretting as you say. Fretting. <laughs> I was I was very sad and then I had also I, I had like hopped on the phone with you as well. Um, and so I was just like in the car chatting. So I was distracted at that point as well um, and didn't think to drive off. So yeah. Fast forward. Fast forward. So yeah, now it's like- Land the plane. All right. No, she looked at me like, man, I hope this guy wraps up the story. And I said, oh, you. So finally at like uh, 8.05, right? So about 50 minutes after- we were outside her this. house. No, no, no. I had left at this point. Gotcha. Three, um, three minutes prior. So wait, on your drive home, are you just like, fuck? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh at that my point, God. I was just like, I, I was heartbroken. I was like, I thought we had a really nice time the first night, you know, whatever. I was very excited for the plans. Um, finally, at 8.05, she texts me and she's like, oh my God, I'm so sorry. I'm not standing you up. I was ready and I was waiting uh, and I turned on the, <laughs> the Sopranos and I fell asleep while watching it. She dozes off to death. <laughs> Is that not a red flag? Well, she, uh, I, maybe there wasn't death that episode. The Sopranos. Sopranos. I've never seen The Sopranos. <laughs> <laughs> well, death is, yeah. You, you, don't, you don't go Pretty into prominent. a Death is a constant. I can't wait to learn something. <laughs> you know what death is, death is, yeah. So, but she sent me a very like cool. sincere and sweet like apology message. And she was like, she's like, where are you? Like, I'm still down to hang out tonight, you know, whatever. Um, and then at that point, I had a decision to make, you know, do I go back out or do I stay in and just like reschedule? I chose to go back out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah of course. Immediately. Uh, and I how, said, how quickly did you text her after she texts you? Seconds? Hey! <laughs> <laughs> no, I was driving. Uh, so I got to, um, I, I parked the car and then just texted her back. So it was like five minutes afterwards. And then you went and picked her up. When picked her up and uh, I joked with her. I was like, well, you slept through my plans. So it's time. It's your turn to come up with something. Oh, Good. Nice. You got a backbone on you. Oh, what if she, what if she was like, well, my plans are also to sleep, but with you. Yeah. That would have been hot. Hot. That would have been fantastic. So you guys had no, that's not what happened. No, she came up with a great plan. She's like, let's go bowling. I know that sounds like a miserable time to you guys. Did you, did you say, terrible to me. did you say to her, I want to fill your three holes uh, like you would Wait, with the I have a ball. question. I told you that I'd be miserable bowling, but how do you know he would be? Oh, because I brought it up before. Oh my I, God. Wait, <laughs> you I was, I was miserable also, too? I was also bowling in New York. Oh my gosh. At the uh, benefit that Paul Rudd uh, invited me to. Crazy. Oh, okay. and Lynn manuel Miranda was there. Oh, you were saying we'll a story? get there. Bro, like, <laughs> no, I didn't mean it. to bring it up. I just, like, well, we were all talking about bowling. You're such a braggy braggster. I'm not bragging bragging. I just did it for the kids. <laughs> <laughs> you're such the a children. Smart asshole. Yeah, yeah. Say it out. It's for the children. <laughs> yeah, I love children. Not the way Jared does, but I do like him. Okay, go ahead. Anyway, she's like, let's go bowling. I love bowling. So this is already 
great night. Great, great. You guys sound perfect for each other. Restart to the night. So we go bowling and it's nice because it's going back to our first date. It's like the mini golf. It's a little bit of competition. So there's some flirting involved, Hell you know, yeah. uh, we play best two out of three. She does beat me. Okay. That's in the right. series. Yeah, that's hot. Um, Women can do anything. They can. Amelia yeah. Earhart. Mm -hmm. <laughs> she got lost. But she tried. But that, <laughs> and like Jared says, that's all we can ask for women to do. I don't say that. But uh, <laughs> after bowling, she was like, hey, I know this arcade bar we should go to. So then we went there, played some more games, watched some karaoke, had some drinks. It was great. And then we hands on thighs, hands on back, hands on shoulder, holding hands. Yeah. Holding hands? Holding hands. Okay, not holding hands, but like holding arms. Oh, my gosh. That's so romantic. Were you walking her down the aisle? Father. <laughs> okay. So you're what? I mean, things are going well. Any kisses exchanged? Saliva. Not a transaction. Point. Okay. Okay. And then after we're that, there. we're getting there. After that, we go back to her place. She's like, Hey, do you want to, do you want to come up? I was like, sure. So we go up there, listen to some music, make some drinks. And then finally, finally I make the move. It's smooch town, baby. Okay. You're right there. You're looking in her eyes. When does the moment hit? What, what, what puts you over the edge to uh, enter her food hole zone? It was just like, it was with the, the conversation had not like died, but like, you know, the moment where it, it just kind of stops and it, it's like, you both kind of look in each other's seconds eyes. Feel so long. Oh my God. It it's felt like, like for fucking, but couldn't ever. you live in there forever? Yes. No. Yes. There's a no. flutter in a woman's eyes when you know a kiss is on the horizon. And it's like that sweet zone between Christmas and new year where I hate like, that time. Okay, learn to relish in it because it's great. I don't like relish. I think it's gross. I prefer ketchup and mustard. <laughs> yeah, you'll take your hot dog anyway, I'm sure. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, guys. Um, Alyssa chuckles. She's like, <laughs> she's like you caught our whore. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I did, Alyssa. Jump in if you want to. Okay, go ahead. Yeah, so it was just the moment where we had that, that silence yeah. and I was just like, it's now or never. Now or never. And it was no like, can I kiss you? It was just like, come here. Baby. Did you just do it? Yeah. Nice. This was the first kiss? <laughs> this was the, yeah, the first kiss. Your lips meet. How many pecs until you tongue wrestle? I do have a rule on this. That I've talked about in the podcast before. What? You yeah, have? Of course. What's yeah, yeah. your rule? It's closed mouth. You go in, open mouth, and then tongue. Pop, pop, pop. Oh, interesting. Bing, bing, bong. I didn't follow and it's, that. And it's a light flutter. Like you just, br you could brush a lip or if her tongue's out, you just brush it on the top. And then we kind of, you got to see what the pressure is because you don't want to go in too strong. She's giving a little pressure. You can give a little bit more. And now we're having an exchange of energy. And now we're having beautiful. a conversation. And we're talking with our talk holes, but we're not speaking words, you know? <laughs> this is beautiful. Okay, you're right there. You're touching lips. Energy's being exchanged. Magic's in the air. How was it? Oh my God, it was oh my fantastic. God. Our little boy. Our little boy's growing up. Sorry, mommy and daddy love this. <laughs> okay, go. No, it was great. She's a great kisser. And um, I hope she watches this. Oh, I think if, if someone spoke about me like this on a podcast, I would be smitten. Wouldn't you? Yeah. I really. 50 50. Oh, oh fuck. No, I'd be <laughs> like, I'd be like, no, because it would just be like, yes, what you're saying is great. I would love to hear those things. But then it's like, you're laying every detail out of what you did. Not every detail, because he told me some other details in confidence. No, well, he didn't tell me anything. Oh, yeah. he was not confident when he told me. He's like, I couldn't get it up. No, okay. I didn't say he didn't that. didn't say that. God damn. Gosh darn, my mom watches this. No, she doesn't. I wish she did. <laughs> um, okay, you retract. <clears throat> Where do you guys go from there? Uh, yeah, and then we just, we continue talking. And then at that point, we do move into the living room. Um, oh, my and gosh. We're just and you're living. We're actually, we're, we're talking on the floor. Um, raunchy. Raunchy. I don't think it was raunchy. On the se. floor? You guys were on the floor? Like, yeah, we were just- we were I feel sitting. like I can make anything sound like that, though. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. In the living room, on the counter, right? Keep going. It sounds like you were uh, sexually saying the songs to, it, or the lyrics to, It Wasn't Me oh. by Shaggy. <laughs> you got me on the counter, it wasn't me. <laughs> Saw me banging on the sofa, it wasn't me. I even hit her in the shower. It wasn't me. <laughs> she even got me on camera. She's acting up. It wasn't me. You can't hit women. And you should know that. Being a woman. It's like the first rule you guys learn. Anyway, sorry about that. She we, got me big enough. It wasn't we, me. Overall, it was just a great night. Now, welcome back to Dropout Questions. This week, Alyssa has a set of questions just she's going to ask that she is going to ask us, mumbled a little bit, and we are going to answer them. And you might think this is a terrible segment. 
I'm really worried I said too much now, but no, no that's fantastic. Oh my gosh. Oh, he thinks he overshared. Do you want me to overshare something? Yes. Yes, please. No. Why? Because this is public and I know people watch. No, it's not public. This is just uh, for Sometimes I do feel like we're all just talking. Isn't that beautiful? And then I rewatch no, because I rewatch the, the, the podcast and I'm like, 100,000 views, 200,000 views. I'm like, those are all people that yeah. know this about me now. Yeah, it's a little terrifying, right? Is it a little bit what? Terrifying. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Fix it. My mom calls you Tara every time. That's um, okay. Your mom's fine. She goes, how's Tara? And she goes, I got it right. <laughs> like, you didn't. You didn't. She's like, oh. What is it? I'm like Tara. She goes, oh yeah, because I uh, I did this thing in my head where bl- uh, black tar and then she has black hair. So I put them together <laughs> so I know. I was like, well, you still got it wrong. <laughs> okay, welcome back to Dropout's Questions. Where are your questions? This episode is brought to you by Blue Chew. If your wiener's feeling sad and it's got a frown, pop a Blue Chew and turn that frown upside down. It's going to be thick and hard, ready to go, whether that's in a bum or a other place that you want to go. Oh, yeah, wiener feels good because it's happy and nice. Put Blue Chew in to have the best night. Blue Chew is a unique online service that delivers the same active ingredients as Viagra, Cialis, and Levitra, but in a chewable form at a fraction of the cost. The process is simple. You go to bluechew.com and you get a little discreet back and forth with someone who's qualified to let you know what's happening with you downstairs. And then you get the right little good, good stuff. You pop it in and boy, are you in happy city population, you and hopefully another, if you know what I mean. And you're banging all night. And you might be asking yourself, does it really work? Do I really need it? And the best part about Blue Chew is that you can try it for free for a month because who knows, you might be missing out on the best sex of your life. Blue Chew wants to help you have better sex. Discover your options at bluechew.com. Chew it and do it. (laughs) I love that slogan. And we've got a special deal for our listeners. Try Blue Chew free when you use your promo code dropouts at checkout. Just pay $5 of shipping. That's bluechew.com. Promo code dropouts to receive your first month free. Visit bluechew.com for more discreet details and important safety information. And we thank you, Blue Chew, for sponsoring this sweet, sweet episode. Thank you, Blue Chew. Prize picks! The big game is around the corner. And you might be thinking, it's fun to watch. It's fun to snack. But you know what's more fun than just watching and snacking? Winning money while you're watching your favorite team, huh? Or maybe your team lost and you're kind of sad watching. Then winning money will make you happier while you're watching football, all right? Essentially, win money watching football. There's nothing better on this earth. And I've had several good things on this earth. None of them are better than watching football getting that money. Prize picks is the easiest and most fun way to win a hundred times your money, okay? That means you can turn $10 into $1,000 with as little as four correct picks on the big game. Prize Picks now offers Apple Pay, so you don't got to be tipping and typing, where's my car, beep, pop, pop, all those numbers, bing, bong, boom, you get your money in, you get your money out, but in a more quick and efficient way. Jared, you made some prize picks this week. What, what'd you go with? Listen, I know football's kind of king right now with the playoffs and the championships and the Super Bowl coming up, so I was a little sacrilegious this week. I did I did basketball, and I chose Steph Curry for more than 29 points and Nikola Jokic for more than 10 rebounds, so... Fingers crossed on that one. If you want to play the right way, go to prizepicks.com slash dropouts and use code dropouts for a first deposit match up to $100. Wait, so if you put $100 in, then you just get $100? Yeah, so basically it's like $200. That's sick. Okay, Um. yeah, go to prizepicks.com slash dropouts and use code dropouts for the best offer ever of first deposit match up to $100. Yeah, prizepicks.com slash dropouts. Go get your... Money. Thank you, prize picks. So we just went out to the bars to meet some women the other night. And Jared, when I say he experienced alcohol at a phenomenal level, it was a little concerning until he told me that he was using Z-Biotics. And I was like, oh, because we had a big day of work the next day. I was like, oh, you're not going to be able to function. But he's like, dude, I got Z-Biotics. And I was like a little skeptical at first, but tell him how you felt the next day after a big night of drinking. It was an extraordinary night of drinking. And yeah, like I told Zach, he was like, dude, seriously, come on, like have, you know, we got work tomorrow. And I was like, I no, seriously, like Z-Biotics is going to save the day. And the next morning I woke up and it was like I had just drank a gallon of water instead of any amount of alcohol. Like I felt phenomenal. Z-Biotics pre-alcohol probiotic drink is the world's first genetically engineered probiotic. It's beautiful. It was invented by the PhD scientists to tackle rough mornings after 
drinking. Here's how it works. When you drink, alcohol gets converted into a toxic byproduct in the gut. And it's the byproduct, not dehydration, that's blamed for your rough next day. Zbiotics produces an enzyme to break this byproduct down, thus making you feel great. Just remember to make Zbiotics your first drink of the night. Drink responsibly and you'll feel your best tomorrow. And this year, I want to form better habits when it comes to going out and drinking. And now Zbiotics lets me still enjoy my nights out while working towards my goals. Go to zbiotics.com slash dropouts to get 15% off your first order when you use dropouts at checkout. Zbiotics is backed with a 100% money back guarantee. So if you're unsatisfied for any reason, they'll refund your money. No questions asked. There's literally no reason to get it. You're going to feel better after drinking and there's no risk. Anyway, remember to head to Zbiotics, that's Z-B-I-O-T-I-C-S dot com slash dropouts and use code dropouts at checkout for 15% off. Thank you, Zbiotics, for sponsoring this episode and for the good times. Thank you, Zbiotics. So this is cheating or not cheating? Oh, well, okay. oh, can you say welcome back to cheating or not cheating? Okay. Welcome back to cheating or not cheating. Can you say it like? No. Like a WWE announcer. Welcome back to cheating or yeah, can not you try cheating. It? I want you to hit like an octave where we're like, oh, that's a little too loud. Oh. Remember, you got to live. What is it? Uh, no, I don't live like that anymore. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome back to cheating or not cheating. <laughs> yeah. yeah, there you yeah. go. Yeah. Hit that yellow button. Give yourself a little round of applause. <laughs> I did that on purpose. Okay. <laughs> what? <laughs> um, so I'm gonna say basically just statements, and you guys are gonna tell me if that's cheating or not cheating. Okay. okay I like before this. we start this, it's just I think in my opinion, cheating or not cheating is the boundaries you set with that person. So I feel like. I don't like this game. Oh, cool. Sick. Oh, it we hasn't were, even oh, started. A one, hypothetical. Two, we're just bantering. And three, deal with it. Okay. <laughs> and four, this is based off of your own opinion. Yeah, so, so you can be like, oh, that's cheating to me. Yeah, so you could be like, this okay. is the boundary I would set with my person. Okay. Being in the same room with someone while they're changing. Cheating. <laughs> okay, wait, hold on. Uh, I mean. It just depends on the person. It does depend on who it, like if. Yeah. This is okay, so this gray. Is, this is, no, this yeah, is this the is setup. You're in a relationship. Yeah, set me up. You're in a relationship with somebody else. Boy or girl? Well, whatever you girl, prefer. What, whatever you prefer, yeah. Girl. Okay. And you're in a room with another girl and- Hot? That's sure, a big thing for me. <laughs> sure. And she's not gay. She's into men too. Oh, yeah. Okay. And, and like- for, But like, is she into just me? Like, no, it doesn't matter. It's like, oh, it, matters, but if you're me. changing in front of somebody, okay. But how, well, we know how, this is opinion. <laughs> no, I no, I was just no. You can give. I want you to give your opinion too. How far is the undressing going? Like, is, is it just it, bra and underwear? If it's bra and underwear, then it's fine, in my opinion. I, yeah, I don't know. Like, say, you're, but I mean, because that's a bikini. In my head, that's a bikini, and I have pictures of myself in a bikini on my Instagram. That yeah, I at that never, point it would okay. be like if you go to I a can pool floss party, my teeth with your bikini. I'm sorry, I'm gonna pull a crystalia. Did my <laughs> sentence interrupt the beginning of your sentence? You gotta say it with more confidence. Though. I couldn't remember exactly what you <laughs> said. Like if you're gonna come at me, you can't be like, please don't hurt me, bud. <laughs> <laughs> like, oh, you know what I mean? Um, I respect you and I apologize. I what? like the floss in my butt. <laughs> Dog, what? Clip that. No. <laughs> clip that, clip that, clip that, clip that. Uh, okay. Zach said my bikini is like the size of a floss. And okay. Just, just don't, you, don't you want people to like imagine what it looks like? Instead no, because it like, sucks. So I, I, I don't care. If I had some nice badonka donk on me, maybe I'd, you know, be wearing a bathing suit and it would swallow it up a little bit, but I don't have much of a badonka donk. So we got to get real tiny. <laughs> cool. Okay, so I, I I might agree with Tara. I would say maybe like bra and underwear, fine, because I feel like that's just a quick change, yeah. you know? Uh, but if it was butt naked, it's a problem. Yeah, 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 100%. Yeah. I, w I still think bra and underwear is a little strange. Is it though? Is there an opportunity to change elsewhere? Yeah. Because if we're, yeah. But if it's just like a quick thing. But if we're actively making a decision and there's an easy access point to change somewhere else and still we're deciding to expose our bodies in such a way that probably our significant others would be. If your significant other was like, I'd prefer you to change in the other room and you're still choosing to change a room with someone else. I find that a little dicey. Okay. Well, I didn't know about the, the precedent that we, the significant other mm -hmm. told us to change. Also that room. person's not ch changing. It's the other person. You're just in the room while someone's changing. You're not the one changing your clothes. Yeah, so I think you should like 
leave the room. Like if you just stay. What if in you're the just room, like on your phone and someone's changing? I just feel like if I was in a relationship and she's like, "Well, what'd you guys do?" Oh yeah, we were uh, we went we we're going in the hot tub. So she just she uh, she just changed into her bikini, but I was on my phone. I was looking at. But that would require nudity at that point. Yeah. No, but you know, I mean, I don't know. I think bra and underwear. It's like I don't I don't see that like crazy. I'm like okay. Okay. I wear shorts the size of underwear sometimes. <laughs> I wear tops the size of bra, bra tops sometimes. I, I guess I guess I'm on a different like playing field because I usually really respect the person I'm with. So I think that's where like we're a little. Dude, look, see, God, this is why I don't want to play you, this game why, with you yeah. because you make us look like shit. We're joking, brother. <laughs> Everybody knows that I said that for the jokes. <laughs> I mean, I do respect women. I love women. Can't get enough of them. I kiss three of them if they let me separately in different relationships and never. You know what I mean? <laughs> Years apart. I don't need to give. No, why not? Well, What's why? the matter? We're not judging each other. Yeah. We're just yeah, we are. <laughs> Zach's being a fucking asshole. <laughs> At least I'm not showing mine like you. Go ahead. <laughs> Got me um, there. No, I would consider it cheating. Thank you. Um, sharing a bed with somebody, but not okay. Doing oh, so sorry, so sorry. I don't want to cut you off. I don't know if I would say it's like cheating, but I would say it's um, highly disrespectful to your partner. The question is cheating or not cheating. Oh, sorry, Miss Technical. <laughs> <laughs> oh, sorry. Hey, sorry, Miss Little Technical. I mean, but she's got a point. So you just said it wouldn't be cheating. It's just disrespectful. So your position is not cheating. I'd have to see the video. <laughs> okay, go ahead. Okay. Sharing a bed with somebody, but not doing anything sexual. Not cheating, bro. You're sleeping in a bed. Again, You're going to bed. there's levels to this. This is such if, a if, It's area. like a slumber party. If everything is above board. Oh, okay, no. <laughs> I'm thinking, because now I'm thinking if my girlfriend is. Imagine she's like, yeah, I went over to Terrence's house and uh, yeah, he only had one bed. So we like slept in there together. I would be like, what? Right? Yeah. I. Oh God. Yeah. Right? If your boyfriend goes out with some girl. No, that's not. No. How is I'm that? painting a different like thing in my head where it's like, oh, like there was a bunch of people over. It was a sleepover slumber party situation and you're in the same. It depends, right? It's like if someone was, they went out together and then like they slept over, that's kind of odd. But I'm saying like, let's say there's like a huge summer party or like they have to share a hotel room or something like that. Why? That's what I'm saying. It's so you know great. I mean? There's so, so many gray. different situations. Okay. In your example, right? If my, if my significant other went out and hung out with one of her friends and then at the end of the night, she was like, I was tired. I didn't want to go home. So I slept in the same bed. I think I would also be like, oh my God, I'd what be the like, fuck dog? <laughs> I was like- Wait, because the thing is, are you least like, trained or not? It's it's <laughs> what <laughs> you said. What's up, dog? Oh, <laughs> it's not at that point. It wouldn't be that I don't trust my partner. It's that I don't trust the person that I don't know. But I, if let's I, say you know them, let's say they've been lifelong friends. This is what I mean. It's still so still because I never trust a guy. That, yeah, that's the thing. Because I be lifelong friends, guys guy, are fucking animals oh my god pigs yeah, yeah i don't yeah. like this game i told you before we started that's okay <laughs> but guess what your difference of opinion is what makes this beautiful <laughs> um hanging out with somebody else and not the opposite sex and not telling your partner what that's not cheating it's not cheating but why did you not tell them because you don't tell someone your play-by-play -play of your day it's what, not no no what if they're like what'd you do today and then the person and then like, you keep it from them yeah that's weird that's what i'm saying weird weird yes it's cheating dicey. now i wouldn't say it's cheating dicey Wait, are they withholding the information altogether or would it be like, let's say you guys Ask. meet up at night and then- Oh, at night? I don't like that either. What's no, going on? No, 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 no. The boyfriend. Yeah, like the boyfriend, whatever, like you guys meet up at night and then you go, what'd you do today? Mm -hmm. And then she's like, I hung out with Terrence. What's who's Terrence? Why do we keep putting I don't know why he just used but, that name. But then that's a, not what the prompt is. Oh, I assume it's you ask and then they're just like, oh, nothing, just hung out by myself yeah, today. Yeah, you're actively- Keeping it. Okay, yeah. so you are actively keeping it. Yeah, I didn't make these up. I'm just finding them. And it's, it's not my, like, no one's yeah, attacking you. Alyssa. I am. <laughs> Don't worry. <laughs> you're, you're the moderator, so you can make these situations also whatever like, you want. It's either like, yeah, it's like, I don't know. You do know, because <laughs> it's like something. Just continue what you were going to say. Okay, so the, the two roads that I see, if they, if they tell you, like, at Robert the, Frost. Dude, one old guy's gonna get that reference. I got it. Yeah, okay. it was a good the road literary. Not taken. Read. Yeah. See, oh I think I'm smart. You can't announce it then afterwards. <laughs> you just go. You go. Oh, I love that book. And then I'm like, in my head, I'm it's like, it's a book. I thought it was a poem. I'm sorry. I should have said poem. So I was right. It's a poem. Okay. I See, don't. Like, I think I'm smart. I don't. I don't like having conversations with you. <laughs> you. You can't go. I think I'm smart. <laughs> you can't say that. That's like Why? saying. That's like selling a joke and be like, I'm really funny, huh? And I say that. <laughs> Which I love. 
<laughs> That's one of my favorite things about you. Really? What? <laughs> uh, cool. Did you miss me? Oh my gosh, I oh yeah. Okay, over to you. Um, liking thirst traps. Wow. Yeah, I think that's what? weird. What? What are you doing your own free time? What does that have to do with someone? I'm not that for a relationship. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, what the fuck? Okay, so so some, I th- yeah, go okay, ahead. Some guys just like showing off their abs, like ah, uh, and then you like, why do you have to physically like it? You can look at it and be like understand that that's attractive. Oh, I guess, I guess. Can, what, what if it's like a famous guy and it doesn't it, have- It does matter because we live in LA and uh, we have access and I to- also, I also never got that thing where like people are like, yeah, but it's my celebrity crush. It's like, no, you actively are saying how much you want to sleep with another well, human being. Who cares? I, I get it for like middle America. No, I don't. I get it for me. I go, fuck. <laughs> no, no, we know. <laughs> but- uh, Bro, it's, it's a celebrity, it doesn't matter. Like, I don't know him. But it does. How, wait, what wait, if wait, have you ever met sitting- Timothy Chalamet? Okay, so it does. Yeah, matter. like what if you're sitting courtside at the Lakers and then all of a sudden your celebrity crush sits next to you, but you're in a relationship. And I say, see you later <laughs> to the relationship. <laughs> Don't preface it like you like saved yourself. <laughs> see, like, to the rela- to the long term relationship. Crush, if my celebrity crush is sitting next to me and I have a chance, I will text my partner and be like, I'm so sorry. I have a chance with my celebrity crush and I'd hope that they would understand. This is a comedy podcast. I'm kidding. Add a girl. Okay, <laughs> next. Uh, casually flirting with somebody else. Yeah, yeah, I would I mean, say that's, that's, that's cheating. cheating. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, a, I'm a natural flirt. I can't help it. <laughs> yes, but I'm fl- not seeking no, no, people no. out to flirt no, with them. No, but flirting has means it has the intention of- No, it doesn't. I don't intend anything. It's just fun. <laughs> <laughs> Can you I'm, look up the definition of I'm flirting? I'm saying this as a single woman. I want you to know that. If I was in a relationship, I would act different. That's what we're asking. We're saying if I you're- I can't put myself hypothetically in that situation. Please say hypothetically right. Hypothetically. <laughs> okay. Can we just change? I don't like this game. Okay. It makes me feel targeted. How does it make you feel targeted? It yeah. makes me feel like everything I do is cheating when it's not. <laughs> <laughs> and that's fine as long as, like you said in the beginning, as long as you communicate those boundaries to your partner. And have an open relationship. No. You're good to go. Um, <laughs> Next game. Red flag, green flag. Okay. Thank God. <laughs> <laughs> except for except so for everything funny. that we say is red flag, green go green flag. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'll be honest. <laughs> we know. That's why we're worried. This is so funny. <laughs> I like Could this. Cut that whole segment out. No, that's so it's hilarious. hilarious. I'm, gonna get, I'm gonna get so much hate. No, no, no. watch this. Don't hate. <laughs> <laughs> That'll work. Oh, 100 percent I saw okay. so, I saw a comment that was like, I just want to choke her so she shuts the fuck up. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but you were like, oh yeah, please do. No, I don't like that. I told you this. <laughs> All right, red flag or green flag? Socks and sandals. Are they Birkenstocks? Um, <laughs> Where is he going? Because <laughs> it would drive me crazy if it was just like- Just like he casually wears them. What is casually wearing them? Like if he's just like running to the supermarket, it's fine. But this is the most opinionated you've been so far. <laughs> are, they in, is, are they sandals that go in between the toes? Flip flops? I don't think yeah. this is a red flag. Like I don't know, red flag it seems pretty- Dark. Red I would f- honestly say green flag. Green flag, it's fine. I don't care. I, I mean, like, don't wear them out, out. Like, if we're going out. I'd say out. beige flag. I don't think it matters. Sure. Yeah. Oh, can that be an option? Sure. Yeah. Beige flag. Green flag. <laughs> Talking about making long-term plans with you very early on. It depends on the person. If I'm really interested, I'd say green flag. But if I'm not that interested, I'd say red flag. Yeah. That's the whole thing. That's really- I, th- I think with that in between, I would go beige flag. Yeah, and it depends if they're joking or not. I actually, I, beige flag is where it doesn't matter. I would say yellow flag. What does that mean, man? We slowing down? Why are there I, so many flags? <laughs> caution. Caution. I like that. Caution. Can we say it, caution flag, yellow flag? It's going to confuse the hell out of me. Okay, caution flag. Okay. There's right? no way. There's red flag, green flag, caution flag, <laughs> beige flag. Pink one or the other. Wait, wait, wait. Can there be a pink flag? And the white flag <laughs> means you give up. <laughs> um, wanting to share locations. Red flag. No, I, 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 I don't red think, it, I wouldn't say it's a green flag either. I think it's red flag. <laughs> like, sh- why is it a red flag? Because why do you want it? Why the fuck do you want to know where I am all the time? It feels like they're hiding something. I don't want it. It feels like projecting. Can I, can I tell you my thought process? And you can just, I just, I don't want to check it all the time, but I feel like it's like a safety thing. Like something happens to you. Guess like, what? My parents have my location. They can safety wise. They can, they know where I am. <laughs> <laughs> this my, is a real my boyfriend doesn't need to know. No. I, and listen, or, or I'm just thinking maybe like they're busy. I'm just like, oh, are they at home? Oh, they're not at home. Okay. Can I have your location? Sure. It's not like we're dating. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> I have my friends' locations. That's fine. 
Okay. <laughs> yeah, I, I agree. That's fine. But like, I, I feel like if a guy asked me for my location, I feel like they were projecting. No, I, I would, I think you're just, it, put it on a positive. I think, okay. I think my thing is, is like, I don't like being told what to do. I don't like when someone's like, what are you doing? Where are you? Like, it makes me feel really like bombarded. So if someone asked for my location or to share locations, I'd be like, why the fuck do you need to know where I am all the time? Like, why don't you just trust me? What if it, no, I think they're explaining it. No, I just make sure you're safe. Like if something happened, I can't me. get to you. Sorry, they, I get really passionate. No, Tar is kind of swaying me on this. No, 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 no. Then ask me. My no, parents I, have I'm my saying, location. If something were to happen to me, they would know where I am. No, but I'm saying, say he's texting you and he so like he just can't get a hold of you. So then he, he can't get a hold of me. No, but it, it, maybe in his head, like, hey, something happened. Ask my parents where I am. All right, next one. Not having any social media. Green flag for me. Yeah, I mean, I don't think it's uh, like a green flag or a red flag. I would say green flag. I have something to say about this. Okay. I see why it's a green flag to people. To me, it's a red flag because I don't like the attitude of some people. I've noticed that the people who say this have this all the same attitude where it's like, I don't need social media. They have this thing where they think they're better than people. I, I, I'm, a, I'm also on the positive end where they're just like, yeah, it wasn't really good for my mental health, so I just don't have it. That's how I get I'm that. thinking about it. I I'm thinking that. like they just, just, they just kind of don't care. And that's fine, but you're telling me you don't have an Instagram to like scroll. Like I just feel like I, I'm like honestly. God forbid they look at uh, this is the podcast. The poem. That, this is the podcast that's gonna get me kicked off dropouts. No, 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 no. I f no, not by you guys, by the masses. We have masses. <laughs> I just feel like my opinion is is like it, I've noticed people that don't have any social media. It's okay to like not have an Instagram or not have a Twitter, but like when people are like, yeah, I wiped, I deleted all my social media. They think they're better than everyone. It's like, I, yeah, I just don't think it's good for anyone to have social media. Like, I just don't like this day and age. I'm no, like, bro, I, I think it's the same. Get with the time. I think it's the same way as someone. Also, who's, like news. <laughs> no, I know, I know. Trust like, me. Look at the I, news. Like, watch the news through your social. No, can I? It's that, okay to not post on your social but, media. But, but there are other ways to get news. <laughs> no, can I? Can I say what, this? A fucking pigeon. <laughs> <laughs> like a messenger pigeon. There's like, if you have an iPhone, you have an Apple News app. You can also what? Google news. This is news to me. <laughs> hey, I guess you didn't get it from your social media. No, but it's uh, there's an, like another side of every coin, I think. So it's like someone who's on social media too much. Like they don't look up. They can't be in conversations. Do you think you just have met a few bad apples that have ruined the bunch? Maybe. Because that's but what it sounds the like. they're all the same. They're all like, yeah, social media is fucking brain rot. I'm like, maybe, but this is my job. So shut the fuck up. <laughs> it makes me feel bad about myself. I don't like that. Okay. On um, period. Um, never having been in a serious relationship before. I'd be, I'd question it. I'd be like, why? Caution, Caution flag. flag. I hate, no. no, no Caution flag. Red or. Silver red. flag. Caution flag. Caution <laughs> flag. Silver <laughs> flag is the blood of the unicorn from Harry Potter. You guys, can we scrap this episode? What? This, this episode is fantastic. No, because I'm going to get so much hate for all my opinions. And those are my, they're my opinions. And you're allowed to have your opinions. I think a lot of people will honestly agree with you. I don't think anyone's going to agree with me. And that's, a, but that's also and your makes, opinion. It's going to make me feel lonely. Well, because here's the thing. Here's the thing. Zach and I so have- you wanna, So you want to present a fake opinion in, in order to no. feel- okay, okay, then. No I, opinion. I say stand- No, that's not. I think stand on your opinion. It's your opinion. I, and it's not like a super negative thing. You said you don't like when people are like get in your face about, because that's your experience. And we're just, and I said, I think it's a green flag because it's the other way. Okay. They believe in horoscopes. Red flag. Red flag. Obviously. Like how? Like, like how religiously much? believe in them? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> because I'll I'll look at one and I'll be like, oh, that's cute. The red is fun. But I'm not gonna like live my life based on it. Yeah, I think it's fun to look at sometimes, and I think it's fun. Yeah, I agree. If people like Zach, I think personally falls into the description of like a Virgo. I think that's fun. I think if he was born in May, he You're would still virgin. be the same person. But I think it's fun to think that you do fall into your astrological sign. Yeah, it's a fun like little thing to talk about, but it's like the same thing with, uh, was it your Chinese, um, ano uh, what's it called? Like the year that you were Chinese born. zodiac sign? Yeah. Yeah, it's like, it's like oh, hey, I'm that. And I'm all, and like, look, I mentioned those things, but it's, it's of course, it, the stars I think don't it's, determine. I don't think it's a Chinese zodiac. I think it's zodiac and then the year, like the Chinese year, right? I have no idea. Either way, it's. I just they know, know what we're talking about. I just know I'm a tiger. I'm a pig. <laughs> I'm a, a boar on some things. I get real happy when they see boar, not pig. I'm a dragon. The girl it with is the, the dragon. Year, it's the year of the dragon. I know. It really is. Your Everything's year? coming up, Tara. Yeah, it is. Okay. Um. Next. Uh, not being a great texter. Mm, I don't think it's a. That's, I wouldn't say it's a green flag or a red flag. Yeah. That's well, why I'm saying. Okay, we I would. Need a beige I, beige flag. But I would. I would, I would okay. lean red. I would lean red. You don't have to text me all the time. I lean red too. Because it's poor communication. Yeah, it's poor communication. I just 
I, I can't, yeah, I can't be too mad at that either because I know I'm also a bad texter sometimes. You are sometimes. a bad texter. I know. I just want to be welcome and wanted in the same way that I, you know, love someone else. So if I'm not feeling like, if I feel like, you know, I'm taking a back seat to any other minor thought, I'm just like, hey, just check in. If like, I don't hear from you for like two days, but you like still, <laughs> but you still really like me. Like, reassure like, me. Yeah, reassure. I, I like a little reassurance. I do yeah. too. Every, I, yeah, everybody likes a little reassurance. I agree. They don't have any friends of the opposite gender. I think that's a red flag because you don't know how to like. You know, when people think it's a red flag when you have like a like a guy has a bunch of girlfriends. I disagree because, like, I have a I have a really close friend of mine, and he we all grew up with him, and there's a bunch of girls around him all the time, and he has a girlfriend now, and he treats her so beautifully, and I think it's because we were all around him. I think it's a green flag. I mean, I think it's a. Do you think he would have slept with any flag. of you if you had pursued him with when he was in a relationship? No. <laughs> wow, you don't he got know. you guys good. Yeah, you don't know guys then. No worries. To him. <laughs> <laughs> uh, next. I yeah. know for a fact. They double, triple message if you don't respond. Oh, green red flag. flag. If they don't. Red flag. Yeah, flag. red flag. Green flag. I like when someone double texts me. Yes, double text is fine, but it's like if you're busy and they're just like, wait, why aren't you answering? Me, me dude, with you? Yeah, I'm like, dude, <laughs> my mom does that. She'll do the thing where it's like she'll text. I'll and question then, it. Well, she, she'll question it. She'll send just like a question mark. She'll be like, my hello, mom does, my mom does question mark. And then if they don't answer, I call them. I'm a psycho, bro. <laughs> I do it with Zach all the time. I'm like, hello, hey, are you busy? Yeah. And then I just FaceTime him. <laughs> and I decline. No, you don't. I usually, do. and that if I'm busy. No. What do you mean? <laughs> do you just burp into the mic and then get depressed? <laughs> um, okay, last one is they ask to split the bill on the first date. They specifically ask? From my perspective, Girls saying it's it a green okay. flag. Yeah, but if yeah. a guy says it to me, I'd be like, I don't think it's a red flag. I'd just be like, sure. You'd lean red. It's like either I pay or you pay. I don't, I guess I wouldn't mind. First date. If he invites you somewhere. If he invited me and then asked to split it, I'd be like, what the hell? You invited me. Yeah. And Chili's. I think it's whoever invites the person should pay. Or should right? really initiate it. I, like, yeah. Even when the girl invites me, I usually pay unless they're like, I will cut your arm off because I invited you here. Yeah. Um, but I'll usually pay. And they'd be like, no, I invited you here. I'm like, yeah, and I had a great time. I get that. Thank you. Welcome back to Dropout Advice. If you want your advice adv uh, advised, uh, email us at dropoutsadvice at, at gmail.com. Gmail Alyssa, what's our first advice? I recently reconnected with an ex after eight years, and we quick, quickly picked up where we left off. I found out I was pregnant almost a month and a half after. I found out later that he saw his ex twice in that time, and he swears they never did anything physical. We've been together three months since then, and I had a gut feeling to look at his messages, finding out he met someone at work and told her, hey, sexy lady, want to get to know you better outside of work, and swears it has... It was to do with some work on her house. What should I do? Hey, sexy lady. What hey, the sexy fuck? Lady. You, you know what you should do? You take that baby and you run far, far away. Wait, he did this in or outside the relationship? She um, was pregnant. It doesn't matter. She's pregnant with her, his. I and make sure to get some money. Like take the baby yeah, far, far take away. Take the baby, get your fucking child support. Yeah. Dip the fuck out. Go meet. Because that dude. Go just meet the stepdad. Bad news. Yeah. That sounds like, terrible. I'm The only reason I'm conflicted is because of the child and the father. Like, trust me, you don't need a father to like grow up fine. Look how beautifully, look how beautifully he turned. I out. I gotta trust you. Yeah. Okay. So I'm not fine. I mean, he turned out beautifully. I'm just saying I have a similar. You just acted like I didn't. You also grew up. Thank you. That's what I was looking with for. With mostly a single mom. That's what I was looking for. Oh, okay. You acted like you're the only one here that <laughs> had lesbian parents. <laughs> well, okay, I am the only one here who has. My mom experimented parents. in college. I don't think that's true. She is. She. She did not. She always liked. Um, yeah, I, I, I mean, if he's actively pursuing other women while you're pregnant, I can't assume that he is a decent human being. Uh, it's, it's tough for me to be like, take the baby and run just cause there's a lot of implications as far as like custody and don't run, but don't get in a relationship with that person. <laughs> walk. <laughs> yeah. Walk, you know walk. What don't I mean? run. Yeah. I mean, that's, that's, that's really, yeah, that's really hard. I'm sorry. Uh, yeah. Our advice is, I'm sorry. We're glad it's not us. <laughs> so aren't you though? Of course, yeah. but I feel terrible. Yeah, we feel terrible, but we're so glad it's not us, right, guys? I can't even get pregnant. I'm so excited about that. <laughs> okay. Because Jared would have got me pregnant by now. Go. I recently discovered that my cousin slash best friend is dating my ex. 
um, and they don't know that I know. And I was wondering if you guys had any advice on how to approach this because they claim they are just best friends. Uh, she's also cheating on him. <laughs> Fuck, dude. <laughs> and I know this for a fact, but I truly have no idea how to handle this. I don't either. It's it's <laughs> tough to call someone your best friend if they are actively- Cousin too. <laughs> they're blood related. Yeah, they're family. Um, it is it is tough to have- I tell your aunt. Yeah. I, I tell the mom. Ooh. I tell that, on you. That's not bad. Yeah. yeah. It's I'd tough be a to have a, a strong relationship with someone who you call this best friend or like someone really close to you when they are actively doing something that would hurt you that they could not do. So I don't know if that's a best friend that you want. I think I think what they do in their personal life, like you don't have to blow up their relationship, but I think distancing yourself, it's just like, you know, I'm not being respected in this instance and this is not good for my well-being. So I think you back up. Now, do you think when they back up, should they have the conversation with them being like, listen, I know you're dating this person. Yeah, you can just and be upfront. I know, hey, I know this is happening. This is just, just doesn't feel right to me, um, but I'm, I'm not stopping you from it. I just can't personally be your friend. Yeah. While this is happening. It hurts. I agree. I agree. Yeah. Step back, but don't blow up their spot because that's really not your place to. And you can give them like last piece of advice. I know what you're doing with other people. Um, that's also not fair to him. So I just want you to get your priorities straight. I'm not going to tell him anything, but please try to be the best human you can be. I'm going to go elsewhere. That's beautiful. Yeah. Agree? Disagree? Retweet? You're better than me. <laughs> <laughs> what would you do? Blow up in her fucking face. Tell her mama. <laughs> okay. He's, she's not only dating my ex, no, act but like, she's Act cheating. like this is Jared's a girl and you have to tell, and you're like going into Jared's face. No, I don't have the energy. <laughs> That's what, she, that's what Jared took out of you when he was hooking up with Jake. <laughs> that's what it is. As, as a girl. Are yeah. we cousins now? Give me one more. I'm in high school and recently have been in yeah. a sticky situation. <laughs> no, Zach. I went to a dance with a guy in September and we really hit it off. He's super cool and we're interested in the same things. After about a week, after a week after the dance, I met his ex-girlfriend and we started hanging out, but I didn't know they dated mm. until a couple days ago. He has brought up stories about his ex and how... We, she made him feel like he was crazy, but I never asked him what her name was. Me and his ex-girlfriend have gotten really close, and she even invited me to her family vacation. The other, <laughs> the other day, she brought up how she was extremely jealous of me and her ex hanging out, and that's the reason that she invited me to do things with her, to quote-unquote keep an eye on me. Oh, um, this girl's psycho. Yeah. She also, hey, the boy was right. Yeah. <laughs> She also told me she tries to be more like me every day and wishes her ex liked her like he does like me. She isn't gonna, there a, isn't there a movie about this? Like oh trying to God. take over somebody, oh, like become just somebody else? The synopsis of yeah. the movie. Yeah. That would be actually funny. Um, <laughs> she's like, I'm going to do that next time. That oh, would sure. actually, yeah, that would be funny. Now she is obsessed with both of us and uh, continues texting me. She's completely spamming me over a hundred unopened messages, all things saying like, where are you? What are you doing? I miss you. I feel unsettled by this whole situation. And I don't know if I'm making a big deal out of this or not. I don't think she's I, making a big deal. Yeah, no, I don't think she's I think making she a should block her on everything. Yeah, hundred percent. She goes to high school with her though, right? Yeah, but that is, uh, God, it's tough. I would tell someone. Yeah, I think you've got- Me, I'm just a big tattletale. (laughs) I would tell on you. I I think if she hasn't expressed it to her boyfriend, I think he's got to tell her boyfriend, like, hey, this got to a situation. I just realized that this is your ex and she kind of, you were right. She manipulated me into a place of being my friend without me knowing that you guys dated. And that was just to keep an eye on you. I'm getting a little scared because she's blowing up my phone. What's the best course of action? What's her mental health? Like? Is she a threat? I just need, a to, threat. I yeah. need to be safe. She seems like a threat. I would also maybe like talk to somebody at the school. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Be a tattletale. Well, My best thing is like, if you feel like in danger, be a tattletale. Yeah, yeah. I, I don't disagree. I if like you talk felt to uncomfortable like a school, in this room, who would you tattletale to? Who am I being uncomfortable from? I don't know. I mean, in your head, you'd be like, you know. I feel like the person that would make me uncomfortable is also the person I would tattletale to. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> um, yeah, I mean, yeah, like, yeah I mean, this talk. sounds like a safety hazard. Yeah, this sounds like she's gonna like lock you in her basement or something. I just, I just want you here. Is that his, is that his hoodie? I just want to smell him again. <laughs> I'm gonna take your skin. I'm gonna put it on my skin. I'm gonna be with him again. You're scaring me. <laughs> that was. A How little, do you think she feels? You got a little too into character there. Sorry. <laughs> He's a method actor. <laughs> yeah, yeah I do meth when I act. Okay. Um, I'm sorry about that. And also. 
We're going to jump over to the Patreon to play some games. Um, also, Tara's going to talk about who she is currently hooking up with, which is pretty fun and exciting, and she loves to get it out there on the Patreon. So if you're not subscribed, we're going to do a seven-day free trial. Get if subscribed. the person I'm hooking up with is watching this, I'm not going to say anything. <laughs> um, I'm just kidding. I'll I probably will. mention it. Uh, no, I won't. Seven-day free trial. and you can I'm not hooking up with anyone. Sign up for all the gifts for free, and we'll see you over on the After School Special. Uh, thank you guys. Love you. Oh, and oh, we realized this. Uh, nobody is subscribing anymore to stuff because it just shows up in your feed anyway because of algorithms. But subscribe anyway. It helps us out. And we're on the road to a million right now. So that would be pretty freaking cool. Um, what else? No, oh, oh, and I like you guys put in the comments. You guys don't want to comment this, but I think it could be fun. Comment why your last relationship ended. That's fucking dark. That's a lot. <laughs> yeah. Let's do it. <laughs> Let's let's roll the dice on that fun. And don't hate section. me. They don't hate you. They love they love you. All right. All right, guys. Oh, wait, go stream my song. It came out oh, today as we're as we're filming this. Stream my song Fuck. too. I waited to the end to say it.